Hey guys, it's Mike again. So I did want to do one more upload. What I wanted to do is really show you how I actually get the reservoirs going. This is going to be a really quick video. So remember in one of the, my longer videos, if you guys actually watched that hour long video of the step A to Z guide on how to grow indoors hydroponically, um, I showed you how to create the reservoir and so forth. So I wanted to show you exactly what I do on the interior. So here you have your aerator stone. This for for everybody that's new that hasn't really um, gone into depth depth regarding understanding the con you know the whole um, way of hydroponic growing and what goes where. Um, this is what's going to provide the air supply to the root system. The reason why I have these little little uh, suction cups here, and this just kind of uh, as you can see here, it slides right on down and uh, if you were to have this aerator stone resting on the plastic and you have air that's being pumped through here okay it's gonna make a rattle it's gonna make more noise one of the more annoying things is is having your entire growth system um, be really loud at night that you could hear it on your second floor you know bedroom when this thing is on its first floor um, so what I do is basically the suction cups they they prevent some of the vibration okay they provide a small cushion and uh, make sure when you're okay so don't ever press down in the middle especially if you've been using this frequently these are fairly cheap at PetSmart or wherever or, or on eBay or wherever be very very careful with these at I mean you could if you drop this on the floor in the packaging or however way easily breaks in half you throw it out it's over you want to be really, really careful with these, the way that you hold them and just anything else. So basically, this tubing gets uh, put right in here, okay? And then the tubing comes out of the hole that we created in the reservoir. And it goes right into the air pump. All right, let me go ahead and fill this up with water. And I'm going to show you how it percolates when it's all complete. And after filling up the uh, the reservoirs with water, this is what they look like. Okay, as you can see, water is percolating from the aerator stone using our tubing that is connected to our air pump. Now, you can hear my voice very well over all this. If I come a little closer, and I'm gonna be quiet, you should be able to hear the water. And I mean, this is like like rapid, this is like a lot, okay? This is like overkill, which is incredible. And it will, uh, the roots on all the plants will love it. I mean, we as humans, living organisms, we are, you know, air -terry. I mean, we, we're air -terians. I mean, like, we, we love air, okay? I'm not even sure that last term was even right. Um, but, you know we love air and there's nothing more that's more important to us as a living organism is is air so oxygen is so important to the plants I mean I heard somebody in the comments telling me that they're growing these hydroponically with 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 no oxygen honestly go ahead and try that and um, let me know how that works out in the comments because I've had issues where on my timer I've incorrectly unplugged and then plugged back the the air pump into a side which actually is the timer side and I'll go into the timer later and uh, the timer side shut the air pump off to the plants and when I come in and I'm looking at them I'm like what's happening and then I realize the plants are all dying why because the roots are not getting the proper oxygen that they require to continue thriving in this type of environment okay so uh, this is what it looks like I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what it looks like and how it looks when the reservoirs are filled and they're pumping oxygen through the aerator stones thanks guys thanks for watching